Okay, so today what we're doing is talking about nets. Now, what is a net? First thing I guess we need to do is talk about three-dimensional objects. And a net is a plane figure that can be folded up to form a solid. So what that means really is we're going to take some shapes apart and then put them together to show how that flat representation creates a solid representation. So first thing we're going to do is take a look at a cuboid. Now a cuboid is kind of like a cube, except it could represent many different shapes, whereas a cube has fixed dimensions. Now if we take a look at the cuboid, what we'll notice is that, well, it's kind of ugly, but what ends up happening is we see these dotted lines. These represent folds. And then these are the solid parts down over here that you would use if you were to cut out the shape. Now if I cut out the shape as shown, what you'll see is that I have a shape that looks something like this. Very nice. Next thing I want to do is focus on the triangular prism. What you'll notice is that a prism is different than a pyramid, and we'll talk more about that later. Maybe you might want to pay attention and take a look at the differences so when we talk about pyramids you'll be able to see, but you'll notice again the folds, and then the solid lines denote where you're going to cut, and we want to make sure we don't cut here. That would be bad. And when we cut those pieces out, fold them together, it will look something like this. And if you're a Pink Floyd fan, it'll look something like this. Finally, we have a cylinder. Now, a cylinder is probably the easiest shape, but you'll notice no folds. Mostly because you're cutting out all the pieces there, but you really need to be careful not to cut here. Because if you do, you won't be able to fold all the pieces together and end up with a cylinder like this you'll end up with two very nice circles and a rectangle and nothing to do with. Um, so that's it for nets. What we're going to do in a minute is talk more about how we can use this information as we progress through the lesson.